Good morning, my friends. Welcome back. It is 11.09 a.m. here in the Northeast, where we are covering Winter Storm Orlena, currently pounding New Jersey. Take a look at the blue area just north of Trenton right here. The heaviest of snow is falling right now as we are getting that counterclockwise spin, the dip of the high pressure, and now we are getting that very noticeable, familiar-looking nine symbol that shapes our nor'easters. We are getting insane reports left and right of situations all over the Northeast. We have flooding in Queens. We have measurable snow all over New York City, and here is a shot from New Jersey. Unbelievable amounts of snow being dumped right now, and we can see that very well right here. This is a very good picture of a nor'easter. We have these low-pressure systems centralized over the northeast, a high pressure dipping down on the west side of it, and then that tail end. It looks like a nine stretching all the way down to South Florida and even into Cuba, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic area, basically Central America. As we watch the last 12 hours of data, we we can clearly see the formation of this nor'easter. We got the new storm coming in from the west, a very big dip into the gulf, and then that strip of moisture, the fuel source to this low pressure system that is now beginning to spin counterclockwise. We can see that dip down right over southeastern New York, northeast Pennsylvania, that north end of New Jersey, which we just showed getting absolutely hammered by heavy snowfall at this hour. I'm still seeing folks online wondering where their snow is, and what we need to understand is a lot of these areas haven't even been hit yet with the actual nor'easter. A lot of the snow that we've been seeing is precursor snow, all basically leading up to this event that is beginning now. So we can see right here, look at those deep dark blues. I will show you that also here on Radar Scope in just a second. But keep an eye on these deep dark blues and we'll go forward six hours from now and we can see that is really the bulk of this storm is within the next six to twelve hours. These two steps right here, two clicks on the map and we could easily begin to see these totals pop up that have been forecasted for a few days now just exactly where those heavy the amounts of snow are going to be still up in the air a little bit, but we're starting to see that northern New Jersey and the southeastern end of Pennsylvania really getting hit. And the reason being, if you watch right in this area, is that the low pressure or the centralized area of the low pressure is now pivoting in this area, which means it's almost at a standstill, as you can see there. So it kind of moves up into the coast, sits still, and kind of pivots up into the northeast, which is why we're getting that stall and why we're seeing such heavy amounts of snow closest to that low pressure symbol, which seems to be right off the coast here. Now, now, as we zoom in, we can get a better idea of county by county as far as the heaviest of snow. We got East Brunswick here. We got Edison and Plainsfield, New Jersey, all to the west. The slight west of this area, we could see the weather coming in off the Atlantic Ocean inland. And we can explain this fairly easily. For the most part, our weather moves from west to east along our jet stream, which we can see highlighted right now with the new storm coming in on the west. A large dip all the way into the Gulf, allowing that Arctic air to come down from Canada. And now we have our low pressure system in the northeast, mixing with that cold air, causing the nor'easter. All right, my friends, this was a bit of a short update. I will have another one very shortly. I had to spend some time actually working on some of my equipment, so that's why this video was delayed a little bit. It is now 12.30 p.m. So I will make an update for about three to four, but we are looking at this nor'easter, which is currently peaking right now. So we are looking at northern to north central Jersey. We are now moving that thick part of it into Allentown, PA. So as I said before, the weather moving from east to west is kind of due to the nor'easter making its counterclockwise spin and the high pressure dipping down to the west of it. So anything's possible at this moment. All we can do is watch and I will be back to update you guys very shortly. Please stretch your backs. Don't do too much at once. Let it fall first and I'll be back shortly. I'm going to get out there myself. I'll get some pictures and video of what this place looks like here. Whiteout conditions as we speak. Thank you all so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.